But the next thing I have to show you is uh, sending email with Go Lang, Go, and App Engine. And we have this one right here, number 40, send email. So I'm going to go into that, get rid of all this stuff, Command K to clear that out. Come on back. Come on over. There we go. And, uh, and then Control C to end my server, Command K change directories into 40 and then uh, inside 40 it's just uh, what I have. I got app YAML going to twit mock and I have uh, here which goes to send email so I'm going to go go app serve on that and just clear out all that stuff and so now I'm running it locally and if I go to this send mail I should see something I don't have anything to catch at local you know just at root Right, but watch what happens. I go here and I go to, actually, you know what? It's kind of funner when you see it this way first. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go app deploy. So I'm going to push this up to App Engine. So it's pushing up to App Engine. And if that doesn't work when you run go app deploy with your code, right here, make a note of this. Right, if go app deploy doesn't work, use that with that dot. And that spacing, just copy it exactly like that, and it will totally uh, maybe help you out. I've spent hours of my life looking for that. I have. So now I come here, and uh, it's just going to show nothing. Page not found. The reason it's showing page not found is because I don't have anything at root. But if I go to send mail, right, what just happened? So I hit send mail, what just happened? Let's look at the code. What just happened? I get my context. I get the user. I create a message, which is a mail message. It's got a sender. So the sender is my email, right? Whatever I'm logged in at, at Google. You know, because I use Google authentication there to log into that. And uh, you didn't see that. I was already logged in. I had a cookie in there from my earlier class. And then I do two, and I have who am I sending this to? It's getting sent to my work email. And then see you tonight. Don't forget about our plans. Hark till later. You might be wondering why did I choose that example? That's kind of weird. Maybe a little bit slightly inappropriate for a professional school setting. I'll show you why in a second. And, and then there's an error. Alas, my user, the email failed to send it. What does that make you think of that kind of verbiage? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. And if you look at the example, for, you could go to godoc.org and search for App Engine. And then you go to App Engine, you can scroll all the way to the bottom, and here are like all the different uh, directories. And so one of them is mail. And then right here is their example. Right, and it's coming from Romeo at Montague.com to Juliet at Capulet.org. <laughs> That's pretty dang creative. I thought that was awesome. You know? Huh? The subject, see you tonight. Yeah, right. Yeah. See you tonight's the subject. You know? And, uh, you know, for people who are in computer science to actually take time and make something a little bit witty, like, I really appreciate that. Whoever did that. So, uh, this one then, right? I should be able to go look at my email, my school email. Whoa. It's an email. It's amazing. <laughs> I missed a call. There's a lateral transfer announcement, and there's a spam warning because we're using Microsoft crap at work. What plans? Or you know, it, you know, your age, you might get a couple of people responding. Cool. What are we doing? <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be an interesting email just to send out randomly to 10 million people. <laughs> Social science experiment. So, uh, you know, we send an email. So when we look at the documentation for email, right, so we could also, we see it here, right, there's the package mail, and you could see that example. But then you also do Golang App Engine, and it's the ser one of the services on App Engine. So we have services mail, and uh, 
And then we have, um, in here, we got, sorry, I went right to the documentation. We, we have some description about it and what you can do. And so there's limitations, right? I couldn't just start sending email as if it was from you to lots of people. So you have to pretty much have a verified email address who you're sending from. And so when you're sending from an email address, like it's coming from this, it could either be the person who's currently logged in using, you know, uh, App Engine Google login, right? So just App, App Engine uh, off authorization, or it could be the e email address of anything at your app name appspot.com, which is stupid. Or it could be the email address listed in your email API authorized senders found in the App Engine settings page of the developer's console. So let's just see if that takes us to the developer's console. Select a project, sure, Fresno radon mitigation. And where do I find it? It's uh, email API authorized senders. So I'd have to come in here and probably in my APIs and OS APIs, right? There's something in here for email or not. Um, maybe in credentials, I'm going to show something. Maybe I shouldn't show, but I don't know where that is. But somewhere in there, you would say, you know, this email can be sent, and then I could send it from Todd at Fresno City College or whatever. I think I think that's the way that works. Be an interesting experiment. So that's uh, sending mail. All right.